Oy vey, I'm getting discombobulated on the five minute look back period. Oy vey, I'm getting discombobulated. I'm getting discombobulated. But don't worry, I got mental game. Be right back. Nobody is happy with New York City's a dollar. Delivery worker minimum wage. I agree. I'm not happy. I don't want more money as a dasher. I don't I don't want more money in my pocket. As a gig worker, as a gig app worker, I like taking less money. I like being paid less. And here's why. I refuse a higher wage. New York City wage mandate victory. Delivery workers triumph over gig economy titans. Look, I don't want more money to be a gig app worker. I want you to pay me the least amount that you could afford to pay me. I want like low wages, not higher wages. And here is why I don't want to be paid more to be a gig app worker. Pay me the least amount of money, I said. Companies disagree. Josh Gold, a spokesperson for Uber, said this about the ruling. The city continues to lie to workers and the public. This law will put thousands of New Yorkers out of work and force the remaining couriers to compete against each other to deliver orders faster. A spokesperson for delivery service Grubhub relayed, Company thoughts on the ruling. We will now be forced to make changes to our platform that will have adverse consequences for delivery partners, consumers, and independent businesses. We remain confident in our legal position and firmly believe that the city's rule, while well-intentioned, is the result of a flawed rulemaking process that was not applied consistently to the food delivery industry. DoorDash did not offer a statement on the recent ruling or NBC's request for comment. In June, however, they did release a statement saying they believe the city's Department of Consumer and Worker Protection to raise the minimum wage deeply misguided, arguing that it would result in fewer opportunities for its delivery workers, price more customers out of orders and affect jobs at local restaurants. The decision ignores the unintended consequences it will cause and sadly will undermine the delivery workers it seeks to support. Yeah, so that's how I feel about it. I don't want you to pay me more money. I want you to pay me the least amount of money that you could. I don't want a higher minimum wage. I want a lower minimum wage. I want you to lower my minimum wage. Don't give me more money. I don't want more money, I said. I'm happy being a, a meager gig app worker. The least amount of money you can pay me, the happier I will be. Okay, it's bad enough that the market is already oversaturated with tons of drivers already. It's very difficult to make a buck even now. But if you're going to force us to take more money, if you're going to force us to get paid more for being gig app workers, that's going to only water down our pay in the meantime. In the long term, yeah, you can give us a, a minimum wage pay increase, but at the end of the day, there's a downside to paying us more money. There is something called the moral hazard. Our pay in the long term will end up being decreased anyway. It sounds like a good idea. Oh, we'll pay you more money. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. But in the long term, it's going to decrease our wages. So it has the opposite effect. You're not helping us by giving us more money per hour. We want less money per hour because it's already an oversaturated market anyway, like I had said. And plus, what about all the uh, new migrants coming to New York City who will be getting work permits? Will they also get into the gig app industry as well? What are you going to do with all those 60,000 migrants that came to New York City that you're going to issue them work permits? You're going to throw them into the uh, gig sector what what's that going to do to the uh to the wages it's not helping it's going to decrease in the long term nice idea but no thanks we don't want a higher minimum wage
for all those reasons. Now throw in the uh, migrants who will now be issued work permits who might go into the gig community and like I said, it's already oversaturated. You're going to throw 60,000 more migrants into the uh, over already saturated market? Come on. It's a bad idea. Bad idea. Oh, look, I just nailed it. Nailed it. I nailed Litecoin. I nailed it. Guys, I nailed it because I nailed it. Guys, look at this. The greatest track record in the history of track record. Look at this, you guys. Look at this. I'm always nailing it. Always be ready to nail. I'm so good, baby. I'm so good at nailing it. I'm nailing it. 